guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Orly Shani. Today I have a killer home decor DIY for you. It's an awesome way to give a little extra zhuzh to an old storage ottoman you might have. I'm coming to you today from my trailer on set. Uh, this has been the craziest month of my life. It's been awesome, but so, so, so busy. We are shooting 52 shows in five weeks on Home and Family, and then I did the Today Show. I've done Access twice. There's been so much going on. It's really awesome, but man, it's been actually really hard to get these videos out, and I haven't wanted to miss a week because I just love this channel so much, and I love you guys so much, and I wanted to make sure um, that I stay on it. So anyway, I'm coming to you from a random location, but it's the only time I had to record this intro. So let's talk about today. Basically, we're gonna be doing these amazing storage ottomans, and we're adding fringe to them. Now, we're gonna do a few versions. I am gonna do the version that's all one color. Color-wise, it's all one piece, but there's all this extra texture and movement added to it, which just feels feels like super luxe and it's it's really really beautiful and it is so easy to do now the other option we're gonna do is this more like color blocked graphic geometric pattern it feels very like art deco colors of a lot of them sort of have that mid-century modern color vibe um okay that's it if this is your first video i hope you enjoy i release diys usually fashion or home decor every friday i'm doing shorts twice a week whenever possible and i'm starting to do some more like styling and kind of narrative videos which have been really fun as well so hopefully you'll subscribe and um, comment down below if you have any questions. All right guys, enjoy. All right, so here is the ottoman that I bought and my fringe. I got all of my fringe at Mood. They have a really good quality, like silk chainette fringe that's just glorious and I was able to find a pretty darn perfect match which was lovely. Now, what you'd wanna do is measure the length of your ottoman so that you know what length fringe to get. If you do need to cut it to length, I'll show you how to do that in the second part of the video. Now, I'm actually using hot glue for this. You can totally use fabric glue, that's gonna be awesome, but hot glue works great as well. You wanna do it on the inside, like top inside of the actual ottoman, that way when the top goes on it, you don't see it. You could even go further in if you wanted, but basically you just wanna hide the binding far enough inside of the ottoman that way, like I said, when the top is on, you're not seeing it at all. Work in sections, maybe six or seven inches at a time. Don't go too long because hot glue dries or cools down super fast, and you wanna have time to work around the edges nice and slowly so everything lays right. Now, I did one row and that it didn't feel enough. It didn't feel like luxe enough to me. So I decided to do two layers, and I would a thousand percent recommend doing a minimum of two layers. Two on this works great. You could go again if you had extra material, but you're gonna just follow the same exact process, working in six to eight inch sections, working slowly around the curve and making sure that the binding is sort of hidden at the top. Then when you get to the end, right where you started, you're just going to cut a straight line and make sure that that is kind of holding nice and flat and basically you're done. Like, <laughs> we're done. If you wanna be done with this version, you can be and I love the way the all one color looks. I just think it's sick, it's cool, it's really luxe, but we are gonna do the other version as well. Now, here's another ottoman that I had, a white one, and I just wanna say a quick disclaimer. The tutorial that I'm gonna show you a thousand percent works. I do not love the colors that I ended up having. I didn't have time because of how crazy my week was. I didn't have time to go and buy new colors, so I was working with leftover fringe that I had. I think that I should have done a cream for this first row where basically I do the, you know, double row all the way around in cream um, and then done other colors like light peach or coral, really soft muted colors. Um, but anyway, as you can see, I'm doing this one slightly different. I'm actually hiding the binding more on the inside. Again, either way works. You just wanna make sure you're not seeing it from the outside. And I went all the way around doing my first layer of gray. Now I knew I was gonna add other sort of blocks of color. So I thought that maybe one row of it was enough, but I do end up doing two layers. That just didn't look quite right. So you can see I am adding in just the same as I did on the other one, two layers of my fringe. And because I was doing it sort of on the inside, I tried just laying the ottoman down flat and that actually worked really well to, I don't know, just, just another way of doing it. But you can see how nice and heavy it is. Now, again, when the top goes on, I could leave it like this if I wanted. It's sort of a two-tone version and you can see how like a little kinky my uh, fringe is. I really recommend not skipping this step. Go with a flat iron and flat iron your fringe. I tried using a regular iron and it like curled it. I don't know why. I guess maybe the pressure of the flat iron makes a big difference. I have it on pretty high heat actually, but I'm just moving fast. And you can see the difference between what I flat ironed and what I didn't. It just 
moves better, it lays better, it doesn't like compete with each other. So just work all the way around and flat iron everything. Now I'm about to cut different lengths of this black fringe in order to create the, you know, the different like little pops and structures. This is also how you would cut your fringe if the fringe that you bought was too long. Put it on a cutting mat and line it up with a little bit of tape, nice and even, just so it's a straight across the line. Now hold it up top so that it all weighs itself down and now slowly drop it down so it doesn't move on you. Now everything is nice and even. You also would want to flat iron this before you do it so that you're cutting it nice and crisp. Now grab your ruler and your rotary blade. You're just going to go back and forth, back and forth until you can feel it's cut. Boom. The satisfaction of that, you guys, was legit. Um, but there you go. You can see now I've got basically the perfect length fringe. Again, if you didn't flat iron it, make sure that you take a second doing that. That way, when you're cutting it, you are cutting it exact. Okay, so what I did was I cut a few different colors in a few different lengths. I laid everything on the cutting board so I could see what I was dealing with. The gray is the full length that's already on my ottoman. The black is the next color. And I figured I would do that green. Again, this is where I went wrong. I just really don't like the way these colors work together. I wished I had really lent into the white color of the ottoman and done all soft neutrals. I was looking at a few different options to get ideas of whether I wanted things on an angle or how to lay them and basically what I decided to do was take all of my pieces the black there is I don't know exactly what I did maybe it's like I don't know six inches I'm gonna fold it in half so that it's double the thickness so it'll end up at three so I basically cut all of my colors to the same width so it was you know cut to six inches or whatever it ended up being I put a little bit of glue on half of it and fold it in half so now I've got like a double panel right it's you know, maybe three or four inches wide, double thickness. And now I put a little glue on the inside and I'm just gonna lay it down and press just the same. Now there's one panel, right? Okay, she's done. Now again, I could just do maybe like three green ones all the way around or whatever color I chose, but I'm gonna try to create the version that I was inspired by, which has this three tiered overlapping sort of rectangular squares. So again, I'm doing the same thing with the black where I folded it in half so it's double, laying it over the top edge and just securing it on the inside with a little bit of fabric glue, uh, sorry, hot glue, and then it was time for the white. Now I do the white, but I ultimately rip it off. You'll see at the end, I show how it looks with the white and without. I wanted the white because I thought it would tie in with the top, but I don't know. This too, this technique legit works. I just don't like the colors I picked, like that's all. But when the top goes on, it's gonna be a little bit more snug of a fit because obviously we've got all this extra layer of fringe, but it still closes and fits in there. Now I just do the same thing going all the way around. I decided to do three of them. So I just sort of like eyeballed it and evenly spaced them out in thirds. Again, you can eyeball this, you can measure it, whatever you're comfortable with, but you're basically just doing a step and repeat here. Now I went back through and took some time to just press it and flat iron it so that everything laid really flat and it absolutely works. Like this technique absolutely works. It lays really well. The pops of color really pop. It's nice and crisp. You just want to be very, very specific about your colors. And that's it, you guys. We're done. I'm going to show you guys how they came out. I'm not going to do a whole beauty shop because it's can't model my ottomans. Um, but this is how they came out. You can see they have such amazing movement. They're really cool. They're such a great statement. I hands down like the solid green one best just because it's so flawless. It's so easy to do and it looks so expensive when it's done. The graphic geometric one is still really cool. But like I said, I'm not in love with this color story, but I do think that had I done like pale gray and cream and blush, something around that, it would have looked really beautiful. Um, so the technique works. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. These are really great statement and so easy to do. Um, all right, guys. I will see you next week for another awesome DIY. Thanks for being here.